to release you. An interministerial meeting called to end the dispute that has stalled the implementation of the Aurora Multipurpose Dam in El Gayo Mariquet has resolved that the project should be conducted by the Cario Valley Development Authority. Speaking after the elected leaders from the area, Water and Irrigation CS Eugene Wamalwa said the tussle between KVDA and the Lake Victoria North Development Authority has been exaggerated. There had been an impression created that there was a problem between agencies. We want to make it clear today with my sister, C.S. Wahungu, that the implementing agency of this project remains the KVDA, and there is no wrangling or uh, fighting over this project. We have consulted with the leaders, and the leaders have made it very clear that <coughs> This project that is of top national priority is equally a priority project for the people of Elgeo Marakwet. His environment counterpart, Judy Wakungu, welcomed the agreement, saying it will lead to the speedy execution of the project, which will benefit the county. It remains a priority for us to implement. When it comes to the jurisdiction of the agency that is implementing this project, it remains as by the cabinet decision of 2009, that KVDA, KVDA is implementing this project. We have discussed this with the leaders here this morning, led by the governor of El Geo Marikwet, the senator of El Geo Marikwet, and the members of parliament. So going forward, what we want to do is to meet not only with the leaders on the ground, but also with the people on the ground, so that we accelerate and complete this project as was determined in 2009. El Gayo Mariquet County Governor Alex Tolgos and Senator Kipchumba Merkoman urged the government to ensure that all the affected people will be compensated or resettled before the project takes off. We want to assure our people that we will stand by them and be on their side when the process of consultation begins. Uh, we have myriads of challenges in both Emberboot, Aror and Kimware that are related to land ownership, displacement of people, you know, all those consultation processes that require how that project is going to be carried out. As soon as government tells us that they are ready uh, and they have uh, secured the necessary resources and personnel and companies or uh, entities that are coming to do the project, we will want to be very clear that we will be on the side of our people. Uh, I'm Angela Wamboy for Capital TV. Honorable Eugene, that time I am on the side of the people.